sick. Somebody might have called you ugly. Somebody might have called you dumb. Somebody might have called you useless. Somebody only feels like they're only useful for sex. But let me tell you something, God created you for way more than that. There was purpose, there was assignment on your life. I don't care what you think, I don't care what you've been seeing, I don't care what they've been saying. God loves you. God loves you. If you would do this one thing for me, grab the person that is next to you and say, God loves you. Come on, don't be scared. I don't care who they are. Wrap your arms around them. They haven't been hugged in a while. All you see is their smiles, but you don't see their tears. Come on, say it. God loves you. God loves you. I know it's been hard, but God loves you. like we usually do, but I just want to encourage you, okay? God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. So don't you give up on
the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. High and lifted up. And there were seraphim calling one to another, holy, holy, holy. Now his train fills the temple. I want to talk about that. So back when there were kings and kingdoms, they would go to war with each other. And whatever king won the war, he would kill the other king. And he would take off his robe and he would sew it onto his robe. Right? Now what that meant back then, however long of a, of a train or robe you had, that signified how great of a king you were. So Isaiah 6 says that his train filled the temple. Which says to me that my God, 